All right, good morning. Welcome back to Costa Tex Pino. We're on build day number 209. 209. Um, it's Tuesday. Um, the general labor crew is here. None of the subs are here just yet, uh, but we'll be arriving shortly, we think. Um, so <clears throat> let's uh, walk around and see where everybody's at so far this morning. Uh, and let's get started. Getting started here on the back. Mr. Jason is uh, still working dry pack and liquid cement for the foreman who is continuing with the um, tiles here in the garage area. As you can see, uh, our electrician, Mr. Chokoy, is back. Um, more Anai Bato work. <laughs> More on I but work, so he's uh, doing more more chipping, chipping. Um, looking in, putting in a couple a couple extra switches right here next to the thing. Uh, so we got controls for the garage, as, uh, door opener as well as for lights. Uh, so that's what that's for there. Um, continuing out the side, let's go around the outside of the house first. We've got Mr. Andy and Mr. Henry continuing to prep doors. We're getting there. We're getting there. And out here on the front, oh, we walked away. Um, a couple of our painters are still out here on the front. Uh, you can see their, their tools and handiwork. Uh, they are continuing to fill and um, sand the fence grills, getting them ready for a, a final coat of primer uh, before painting. So that's what Mr. Ricky is working on. Over here, Mr. Lloyd and Mr. Jojo are continuing to work the um, front walkway. Uh, so they're getting this prepped and ready uh, to finish up. They've got just a little bit more work and then they've got, they're gonna uh, cut the tiles to go match the rounded, uh, the rounded sections of the walkway. Let's go ahead and walk on into the house. Mr. Alex is continuing with the um, backboards for the backing boards for the um, cove ceilings. Mr. Ferdy here in the black shirt is continuing with the baseboards down here. And Mr. Allen, our, uh, our lead. Our lead, our lead carpenter is uh, continuing with the um, work on the archway for the living room. Also in here is Mr. Uh, Francis. He's also continuing to work the baseboards. Okay, moving into the master bedroom. Mr. Willie is continuing to do tiles and getting it ready for uh, installation of the uh, bathtub or at least a placement of it um, so they're going to put a small uh, hollow block wall a small hollow block wall on the inside uh, to make between separate between the uh, tub and the walk-in shower behind him uh, so that's what they're working on there and mr. JR is continuing with Macias around all the baseboards that were installed yesterday all right coming back out into the main part of the house here we do have a couple other personnel. Um, the painters are spread throughout the house. Uh, we got Mr. Dell, the lead guy, uh, doing sanding and painting here in the main kitchen. Uh, Mr. Wilson wasn't here <laughs> in the dirty kitchen. Um, stepped away, still see his tool, so he'll be back. And we've also got, oh, speak of the devil. There he goes. And right back to work. <clears throat> okay. So heading into the back part of the house, Mr. Stanley is painting the walls with the gold color so we can see what the uh, walls are going to look like. So we're continuing with this area. Some of these are going to need a second or third coat uh, to get rid of the uh, paint where we tried the sample colors. <clears throat> so. We're going to continue to work that. Um, but 
The other room here, bedroom number three, has been completed uh, with the first coat of paint. And this is the gold semi-gloss, very light gold. Let me open up the window and see if we can get a little light. <clears throat> there we go. Let me see how that looks. All right, Mr. Willie's getting started in here. And we're starting to put in the divider between the stand-up shower and the Whirlpool tub. So we're gonna have a small concrete hollow block of wall just right here to divide the two. Then glass will come up from the top and the um, bathtub will sit here. Also in here, our plumbers showed up today. Uh, Mr. Uh, Wren and June and they're going to in, be installing our four four of the uh, five toilets throughout the house so we got all the ones in the main house with the exception of the uh, maids CR out in the garage or the garage bathroom CR um, so we got the cool one in the ma uh, master's bath master's water closet everything else gets the standard uh, American standard uh, toilet here and that's what we're getting the rest of the room. Oh, I stand corrected. We do have the uh, toilet for the made CR but that area has not been tiled yet uh, so they're not ready for that one to be installed but four out of the four out of the five toilets in the house um, are ready for installation um, so that's what uh, the plumbers are working on. All right, so the granite installers are back today. Um, we have, they're working the uh, granite for the dirty kitchen. So the rework um, from where we had the uh, kitchen sink moved. Uh, so that's what they're working here. And we'll catch that throughout the day as well. All right, so the plumbers are getting ready. He's setting up the equipment first uh, for the uh, toilet. Uh, one for the Jack and Jill and one for the uh, hallway powder powder room over here. So we're going to set it up first, make sure they've got all the parts and pieces uh, prior to installation. So just taking a look, make sure everything's here first. We should be able to install all of the uh, toilets today with the exception of the maids CR out in the garage uh, because the floor is not ready there yet. Okay, so on the uh, Jack and Jill bath here, we got the first uh, fitting uh, put in. Uh, this one here being the, the spigot for the water coming in. Uh, make sure that they're using Teflon tape to seal the threads. Uh, don't be scared to wrap it several times, make it extra thick. Uh, that way you get a good seal on it. Uh, the other thing uh, that they've done so far is gone ahead and cut off the stub up uh, for the uh, for the toilet connection. So the next thing they're working on is putting the float valve in uh, for the tank. So they've already got this one in here in, and that one there is still working on. But you've got a, the float valve. And this is the supply line coming in. Um, so um, make sure that they put uh, a sealant, a uh, silicone sealant on the inside before they start tightening it down. Uh, that way you get a good watertight seal on it. This one here, the American Standards have a two part system. He's got the actuator so that you can, that it'll actually open up the valve and flow into the toilet. And then you've got the float that comes in and fills up the water so it knows when to cut it off. There's a two-part system now instead of the old uh, ball and chain that used to be in it. All right, we got our granite cutters. We've done all the uh, remeasurements and we're uh, putting in the, the opening here for the sink in the dirty kitchen. Now he's doing a little bit of grinding, getting it, uh, getting it smoothed out on the corners. Um, it's all it's got a rolled edge so we'll see this uh, in place after lunch 
got the uh, kitchen counter, uh, kitchen sink adjusted over in the dirty kitchen area, and they have added in a new piece of uh, concrete rebar attached uh, to help support that particular spot. Um, so when they get ready to put in the uh, granite that they have cut, it'll be ready to support it. Okay. First thing back here in the uh, garage area, the foreman has finished with the main garage flooring. He's telling me uh, within four days or by the end of the week, I should be able to park the car in here during the daytime uh, if it'll stay out of the way from everybody still working. So we'll try that out at the end of the week to uh, test it out. Okay. Still working on um, the boards for the backing. Um, and we've got the uh, arch, initial archway up on both sides. <clears throat> okay. And Mr. Uh, Allen is continuing to work the arches for uh, the molding for the uh, where the glass goes and all of the insets here for the door frame. Let's go check out these guys in the back. Okay. Oh, we've got another toilet installed here in the uh, powder room. We have the paint done inside of bedroom number two as well. And the toilet is completed inside of the Jack and Jill. Go ahead and head back into the master side of the house. See what's working back here. They've got the toilet out of the box for the master bath. Let's uh, take a look and see where that's currently sitting at in preparation. Also working the uh, working the surround for the um, bathtub where this is going to go. Okay, so this looks like where the uh, plumbers are going to start working next. Alright, take a look at the uh, spandrel ceiling where we're at with this back here. Alright, yeah, looking much better today. All level. Thank you. Yeah. We had them do a slight adjustment yesterday that what they were doing was trying to, when they were following the, um, uh, the top piece of fiber cement board and the further it went down this way, the further it dropped um, and it was very visible. So um, instead what we told them was like, don't worry about the fiber cement board. Um, let's just make it level. I'd rather have it level. And we've got Mr. Lloyd and Mr. Ricky out here sanding and painting and filling the uh, um, fence grills for the second coat of primer. We're getting ready for um, paint at some point. Mr. Jojo has been working the uh, front walkway. Got the outside edge rounded off. Looking very nice. Looks like he's getting ready to try to make that transition now from this strip here where that's not straight because the, the road's not straight and then transition down onto the step um, with the larger paver stones. Down. And our uh, spandrel ceilings have made it around this direction here in the front by the front door. Out the front porch area and he is now these two gentlemen are here working their way, Mr. Milan and crew working down that way. All right, the uh, large door, the main front door is now getting color. We're getting stain. 
So we're done with sanding for the moment, but we're going to get stained in. Then they'll go back through, do a little bit of sanding and a little bit more filling. Coming along nicely. And two more over here that just got, <coughs> excuse me, just got clear coated. So go figure, the fancy toilet for the uh, throne room already has all the parts and pieces, everything already put together. Basically all they got to do is um, put the sealant on the bottom, set it down in place, and uh, plug it in. Hook up the water and plug it in. So they're working their way through it. Yep, see it's already got the uh, seal on the on the floor there. See the blue one? They'll put the it'll sit right down inside. Okay, so here for the uh, fittings around the bottom, uh, what they'll do is uh, put mortar uh, down on the floor, and that's what they use to set the uh, set the toilet down on. It helps to level the flooring underneath of the toilet, and uh, also helps to secure it to the floor, so you don't rot back and forth. Uh, of all the to toilets that we've put in today. None of them have the typical um, bolts on the sides that we see in the States. So, this is uh, installed and water hooked up. And we've got water running. Once we get power, we'll uh, finish the rest with the fancy toilet. Is it a bad thing when a toilet comes with instructions and a remote? OMG. What did we do? All right, we got the uh, granite countertop recut for the, uh, the sink in the new location. All back in place. Now they're starting to get it set. They've already put the uh, joint or the uh, mortar and stuff underneath to set it with. So we got it in place. They're going to leave it like that for a day or so and then uh, start cleaning it up as far as polishing and all the other stuff at a little bit later point yeah so this is what the main part is going to look like and then we're, they're still going to come back with the uh the backsplash the 20 centimeter backsplash all the way around on the uh, front part of the walkway has been put in place so the next thing down is going to be the big paver stones are going to go here. Okay. <clears throat> also out here on the outside, <clears throat> the gentlemen working the spandrel ceilings are continuing along the eastern face of the, the building and the their work co-workers are on the back side of the house and they're here on the back of the house um, just putting in additional pieces uh, they're putting in the furry strips so that when they do come along with the actual pieces of spandrel um, they'll be able to just uh, kick it in place and just work their way on around all right, it's Yabba Dabba Do time. The guys are uh, just wrapping up. These are the uh, Spandrel guys. They'll be here right up until almost five o'clock. Um, all the rest of the guys are heading out the gate, uh, put tools away. So that's the end of today's business. Uh, we got three of the uh, five toilets installed. Um, so the one in the main throne room was done. Um, we have to wait until we get uh, a good electrical source in there to get it all tested out the way it's supposed to be. Kind of weird that you have to have a uh, installation manual or uh, instruction manual for a toilet but we splurged on one toilet so yeah um so if y'all like today's videos please give us a big thumbs up if you'd like to see more of this type of video hit the casa tex pina star right over here 
and you'll be subscribed to the bell icon just below the view screen. You'll be notified of our next video upload for your viewing pleasure. So until we see you again tomorrow, have a great afternoon and God bless.